I started learning how to control the way I think and my mind, I, I realized that the subconscious mind is very powerful. What we program in our brain is very powerful. And, and that's what helps you start having more belief and confidence in yourself too, uh, is thinking differently, setting goals, and then having more faith that you can accomplish them and taking action. Um, so, so that's what has helped me start attracting more of what I wanted. And then I've had to block a lot of negative, Josh. <laughs> I, I Believe it or not, I haven't watched TV in uh, over two years. That's dope. Mm, great sacrifice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Wonderful sacrifice. Are, are you the same way? You don't watch TV? I, uh, I did do that at a certain point. But I, I guess I came back to observe because I have more of a, a marketing advertising perspective. So you kind of see the entire chessboard when you when you view the content and then it makes more sense. Oh, OK. Yes, but you can understand. And um, and even now, if I'm on social media, I'm limiting how much negativity I'll accept uh, and in the news with with different um, challenges that are going on in life right now um what, what i try to focus on knowing what i need to know thinking about what i can control and not stressing over what i can't control but being more grateful for what i do have and thinking about what can i do to make things better you know what i mean absolutely i feel when we put others instead of you know ahead of ourselves so it's for the betterment of everyone then I feel like the world always prospers after that. So you will prosper, you know, you know, neighbors, people you collaborate with, it'll be amazing. That's true. That is very true. Um, talking a little bit more about what you say to yourself or like the words that we speak and how powerful they can be for the results that you see every day. Uh, this is the, one of the books that helped me with that is what to say when you talk to yourself. So you sure is in the frame. And the author's name is Shad Hilmster, Hilmstetter, sorry. Um, so what to say when you talk to yourself, that, that's a very powerful message because, I mean, even think about like if you want to lose weight, <laughs> it's just, just like something basic, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, if, and, um, and, and being committed to whatever it is that you want to do, because when you're 100% committed, then there's no nine, there's no if like, oh, should I have the ice cream or should I not have the ice cream? I mean, you're committed, right? So there's no question about it. You don't even have to use that energy thinking about, am I going to have the pizza or I'm not going to have the pizza? <laughs> Absolutely. It's really up to you. And I feel like that's exactly the way it should be. So I, I've come up with a term to describe that. And I feel like it, it's, it could be illustrated by calling it intellectual sovereignty. So you have the ability to do and think anything you want to do at any time because it's your choice. Yes. You and and um, if, if you notice too, and you study some people who have been very successful, whatever they set their mind to do, they focused on it and they accomplished it. It's like uh, whatever you think you can do, you can achieve. And what those thoughts are very powerful uh, because that. Also, that's really part of the secret of success is what your thoughts are and then how do they manifest to habits and then action. Um, and then this is my last book that I'm going to recommend, which is The Secret. Uh, and even with The Secret for those who don't like to read, <laughs> that was by Rhonda uh, Burns, but uh, even for those who don't like to read, there is a documentary on Netflix. <laughs> that, <laughs> 